All right, here we are. Welcome back to some more MXGP3. This is the 250 career finale. We are at Glen Helen. There was four or five races in between that last video and this video that I did and didn't make videos on, obviously, because I was worried if I tried to record all of those, we wouldn't actually finish the career because we're getting close, getting close, closer to the Supercross the game release. So I wanted to for sure wrap up the 250 career like I said I would. And we are, I believe we're nine points back. I tried to do those four or five races you didn't see to where the points were really close. So we're nine points back in the championship. I think we have like 631. And the leader, I'm not even sure who the leader is, has 640. So we're really close. We need to win both motos. We're going to use the KTM 250 to give ourselves the best chance to win this. Glen Helen's not my favorite track. I know a lot of people do. But those four or five races were either pouring rain or mud. I didn't have one single dry race. And I know a lot of people said that they're... Their seasons have not been as wet or muddy as mine. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I don't know why mine have been, but I think that's what threw me off and made me not want to play the career as much. So we're going to wrap this up. Uh, thanks for the support on this. I don't know if we're going to we're gonna do a 450 career. We probably won't because I don't think I'll actually finish it. If there's something specific you want to see in MXGP3 before Supercross the game comes out, let me know down in the comments, and I will try my best to to do some videos on those, but uh, let's jump into this and see if we can win ourselves a 250 championship. Okay, so we're at the track. Here we are. Let's go grab our bikes set up like we always do. Again, we have rain. I don't know if I mentioned that in the, the little intro, but we have more rain. Let's go grab our data setup. A lot of people ask me. I don't play this game. I mean, I play this game a lot, but I, I'm not very good at it. So, But if you want to see what I'm using, I think this one has medium. Let's, we're gonna go long for this race, and then this is the suspension settings that I have. People ask me, this is what I use. Uh, there's a lot better settings out there, but you can try those if you're struggling to find something. But let's get to the track and see how this goes. Like we, we kinda hope we can get a win in both motos. We're gonna need it, probably. Usually, I don't know, the AI kinda can stay towards the top, so we're gonna really need to Try and go 1-1 one, one today. Not good. I always try to jump at the gate. I know it's like four seconds or something right when you see the rider. And I did change the camera view to get it a little bit closer. It's been a while since we played. Realistic difficulty. Pro physics, that's what we're playing on. And I know there's tons of guys better out there than us. We struggled to beat the AI. Before, when we were playing it a lot, it wasn't so bad. But since I don't play the game as much, going back and forth between all the games that we played, it feels a little weird. All right, things are good. That's Hurlings there, I think. This is Anstey. I think it's Benoit who is in second. I think. I'm not 100% sure. So if that's the case... And usually for me, the last four or five races that I was doing that were rain and mud, they all were, uh, he didn't do quite as well. It was Hurlings that was doing typically better than him, and he's not really the one. I mean, he's really close in third behind us, I think, but he's not the one that that we really need to, to beat here. As long as we're pretty close to him, even if we don't finish ahead of him, I think we'll still have this championship wrapped up, so we'll have to see. Did do a couple warm-up races. Actually, did a warm-up race here before doing the video, just because I wanted to give ourselves the best chance to win this. And before I was using uh, somewhat stock bikes, uh, stock exhaust. I did go back to aftermarket stuff just because uh, this is. I hate that corner. Just because. Oh, actually, there he is. Speak of him. Speak of him. There he is. Come on, man. Gotta get up here. I don't care if Anstey wins, but we have to. Actually, I do. We need to win. We need the. We need the points. So we need to try and separate ourselves and not take these super wonky lines. The only thing we can do is win the race. Just, just like real life. The only thing we can do is win the race. Now, it looked like it wasn't going to be solid rain. I don't remember now what that little icon said. But I'm hoping. That the second moto is not rain. It'll be muddy, but I'm hoping it's not rain. Take a look back. It's pretty close. Maybe Anstey can take second, push him back to third. That'll help. We're nine points back, so 
gonna need a little help. Taking it really easy in that corner because for some reason if I overturn when I hit that berm, it kinda messes us up. And our skill level isn't maxed out in Mud and Rain. It's still, I think it's at like 95 or 96, so I haven't played Mud and Rain enough to even get 100% in that. We're 100% at everything else easily uh, because I prefer to play in dry conditions. And the mud's not so bad either. I just don't like the rain. Now, I do feel like with an update they've done, I, there's been, a, I don't know, at least one, maybe a couple updates. I feel like the rain has been toned back a little bit. It looks like it's going to be not solid rain, at least here either, so that helps. That doesn't help. I'm not going to rewind. I'm, should sit there a while to make... Okay, so Anski's still in second. Well, here we go, man. We really need Benoit to be in third and Anski to be in second. I have one more lap to do it. Try not to ride too dirty. Throw a few little scrubs in there. People complain when we don't scrub too much. We have to beat Anstey, and Anstey has to finish ahead of... See, I don't like that inside corner for that reason. That happens a lot. It happens in that corner right before the finish, too, but it looks like that pushed Benoit back because he didn't want to hit us. So we need to go out there and catch Anstey now. He's kind of starting to pull away. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. He's a ways ahead. I don't know if we can catch him. I don't want to cut the track. I know you can cut the track a lot, but... Uh, I think we're getting closer. Come on. I'm struggling up that hill back there. Well, Anstey won. Didn't he win one of the races at the motocross destinations? And it was muddy this last year, so maybe they made him good in the mud in the game. I don't really follow it, so I don't know, but he's obviously a pretty good mud rider. It's going to be close. Oh, come on. That's killer. No, we didn't get him. No, that's going to hurt us in the points, but I don't know. That's just the way it goes. We had that crash. We had a couple wonky lines. I don't know. Depends on where Benoit finished. Have to take a peek. Oh, it looks like Hurlings might have got in front of him. Okay, so that's okay. It was really close. We need to go out and win the second moto. So how many points are we going to get? We're going to get 22. He's going to pick up 18. Oh, man, I don't know. We need five points, guys. We need five points in this next moto. I don't know. It's going to be tough. We'll have to see how it goes, but I'll see you in a second when we start moto number two. All right, so here we go. The final race, man, the final race. Let's go grab our bike set up. Uh, pretty sure it's this one. Now, I think I'm going to leave everything the same. I think I'm going to leave this on medium, actually. A little bit of mud, some hills. Let's go medium instead of the high gear ratio. And try it out. It looks like it's not going to be actual rain, just mud. That's a little bit better, but I kind of wish it was a dry race. It annoys me. It annoys me a lot that this 250 career has been so muddy. Just, I don't know. Some some rain, some mud's cool. Nice addition, but every race. Get off the gate a little bit better. I hope this works better. Oh, there's Benoit. He did not get a great start. Not great. Here we go. Oh, 
Okay, this is good. I feel like this medium gear ratio is working better for us. Yeah, we should have went medium in the first race. First moto. Probably lose a bit here. But it's not. I don't think it's going to matter. Whoa, Jeff, please do not take me out, bro. Do not take me out. This is all we can do. I, I mean, this is it. Don't know where Ben was at. Like to try and pull a little lead here. I'm tiptoeing around that corner, guys. I'm tiptoeing. Maybe some of you don't struggle there, but if you hit that berm too hard, you crash really easy. Same with this one coming up here. Oh, Jeff, come on, man. This one right here, taking the outside. a little bit slower I think but the peace of mind of knowing we're not going to crash like just for no reason is nice I don't think Hurlings went down when he came in on us like that but it might have slowed him down a little bit oh man I wish I knew what was going on I wish we could get like a pit board of where Ben was at Struggling. Oh no, it looks like he's in second. I don't know if he's in second or third. Looks like he's in second, maybe. That's not good. No, no, no. He's not in second. Third, apparently third. He needs to stay there or go backwards. Oh! Oh! Thought we were going down! Now I'm all out of whack. Losing my focus. Take this corner super easy. Come on, man. One more lap. Taking that corner easy, guys. I don't care. It's just that those are the two worst ones. Looks like a little lead. Don't want to scrub too hard. I don't want to crash. Uh, okay, that's not Benoit. Looking at the people who are crashing. No, not Benoit. Need Benoit to get into like a heated battle back there and have someone take him out. I'm taking it easy, guys. I just need to win. Oh, no. What's he in? What's he in? What's he in? It looks like he's battling back there. I think he's in third, but it's hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. Okay, maybe he's in second now. I'm not sure. I mean, I think we're going to get the win, but... that's That might not be enough. Might not be enough. Taking it easy, come on. What do we got? Who's behind us? I can't see. We're too far ahead. It's the one nice thing about being a little closer to him. You can see him better. Like who's in the position.
All right, moment of truth. Throw the whip, we got the win. It looks like he's not in second. I think I saw a Suzuki back there. Oh my God, he got third. How, how many points did we, were we behind? Oh my God, we tied. We were back five points, obviously, because let's see, three, five. We were down five points, which is what we would have made up on him. But he gets the championship because I think he won more races. Because I let him win a bunch, or something like that. Seriously? No way. No way. There's no way. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We got second in the championship because... I sat out two races. Okay, I sat out two races a while back. And I told you guys I was going to do that just to make the points more interesting because we were winning so much. We had such a big points lead. So I sat out two weekends. And then it was close, and I think he might have won those two races. And then we did some stock. Just because we were messing around, he won more races than we did, obviously. So, wow, what a finish. Unbelievable. So we get second in the points at a tie, 678, 678. Good season. Never had anything like that happen. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. Uh, thanks for the support on this. Probably won't do the 450 career just because... I mean, unless you just want to see some random races while I'm going through the career, not every single race, like the best ones, maybe we'll do that. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know down in the comments if there's something specific you want to see within the next month or so, three to four weeks. Um, Feb before February for sure, before the new game comes out, and I'll try and get a few videos up. But you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Again, thank you so much for the support on this series and on the channel. It really means a lot. And until the next video... Take it easy.